No, my friend, as a matter of fact, it literally does not say that hell never stops burning. And let's look at the proof. You see, here in Malachi chapter 4, verses 1 and 3, it says that the wicked will become ashes and stubble. Here in Isaiah 47, 14, the verse I quoted in the last video, Isaiah says they will become ashes. It goes further and says that there will not be a coal to warm at, nor a fire to sit before. The fire goes out. Psalm 37, 10, you will look for the wicked, you won't find them. Psalm 37, 20, the wicked will perish, and they will consume away as the fat of lambs. Now this idea of eternal hell is built on the false assumption that man has an immortal soul. But that is not at all what the Bible teaches. You see here in Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, the Bible teaches that God formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Now in the definition of that word for became, it doesn't say anywhere received. It says exist or become. You see, you don't have a soul. You are a soul. Your body plus your breath equals a soul. You don't have one, you are one. So when you die, there is no soul separate from your body that goes to hell to burn for all eternity. In fact, here in Ecclesiastes chapter 9, the Bible says that the dead know nothing. If you're in heaven or hell after you die, you know something. But the Bible says the dead know nothing. Now some people will point to Revelation 20 verse 10 and say, see, that proves eternal hell. No, it doesn't. Let the Bible explain itself. Revelation 20 verse 9 explains that the wicked are devoured. They're not tortured for eternity. Now some people will point, well, it says forever and ever. In fact, this phrase forever and ever, check this out, means for a period of time. Now the Bible often uses the word forever much like we do. For example, it said the prophet Samuel would serve God forever in the temple. However, the temple since then has been destroyed numerous times, and Samuel's dead. He's not still serving there. You see, in context of humanity, the Bible uses the word forever until the event is finished. It's only when referring to God himself that forever means eternity. Now, for the wicked to be able to suffer for eternity, they would have to have immortality, would they not? But 1 Timothy chapter 6 says only God has immortality. Not even the righteous have immortality yet. And 1 Corinthians 15 says the righteous don't get immortality until the second coming. So when they die, they don't go to heaven and receive immortality. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 also says that the wicked are destroyed at the second coming, not thrown into the fires of eternal torment. Job says that when the wicked die, they don't rise up. He calls it a sleep, not eternal torment. Eternal hellfire is not biblical. 